our culture, at least in my family, is that we care for folks at home. And um, that's hard. My values as a Native American, that's one of the values that is instilled in us is to care for your elders. I didn't fully understand or embrace what it meant to be a caregiver um, until way, way, way late. I don't know that I would have said the word caregiver at the time. And I don't think I even knew the word advocate at the time, but I knew that I was in some special place. I had somebody who actually approached me and just started asking questions about how I was feeling and what was going on. And I think the light bulb went off and it's like, oh, you know what? There are other people out there that are feeling the same way that I am. Kimmy came home from the hospital and for them, it's like, oh, it's done. Well, not really, it actually just began for us, right? Josh needs 24-hour hands-on care. You can't just sleep, think you're gonna sleep. He needs suctioning constantly. He's on 24-hour feedings, he needs to be turned. He's on an oximeter 24 hours. I mean, it's not like you can just say it's time to go to bed. It's not like that at all. That's the big challenge for me as, as the caregiver is I've got someone who's got some very, very serious cancer um, who I believe requires 24-hour care. The services and supports that I was trying to desperately to put in place for her, um, as soon as I would get a level of service in place for her, she would, um, her needs would exceed that level of service. So it, it felt a bit like being on a hamster wheel. I mean, I, I wasn't sleeping. Um, I wasn't going to the doctor for myself, surely not. Um, I wasn't taking time for any breaks to restore myself. I'm physically tired. Sometimes I get overwhelmed. Um, probably back three months ago, I started to get sick. I had my first anxiety attack, so that was new for me. And um, that was something I've never experienced before. We never, we never took a vacation for the 25 years. Because we never, we never thought it was going to be 25 years, right? I've struggled with my own mental health and seeing how my grandpa is kind of puts more weight on me sometimes. And, uh, you know, I try to talk about it and it can be hard sometimes. And I think it's not just me. I know it's not just me. There's lots of other people who are going through that issue. A lot of us are compromising our both our earnings and our retirement. I am still paying off uh, month by month those medical loans that I that I took out for her, which I did so gladly. Um, but you know, it's it's long term financial implications now, even four plus years after her death. I've used up you know what I had from 401ks to stock options. Caregiving is a very expensive experience. I didn't put my career. Um, on hold, I I just jumped right out of my career and didn't have a plan for getting back in at all um, and didn't realize initially how caregiving was going to financially impact me. There's more to us than the one story. We, we don't want to end up at that destination where people say, well, I don't know anything about, I was never taught anything about caregiving, so uh, you know what, um, someone else has to do it. You're gonna get sick, your family members are gonna get sick, your kids might get sick. That is a given. So given that that's going to happen, why do we not have a solution for how to help people 